Hi guys, today's video is going to be another DIY Tumblr inspired room decor video. As always, everything is really affordable and super simple to make. Make sure to tweet me a picture or tag me on Instagram if you decide to make any of these. My Twitter and Instagram will be in the description box down below and let's jump right into it. For the first DIY, you're going to need some fake flowers, mine are from Ikea, a vintage Coca-Cola bottle, I got mine from my local grocery store, some decorative beads or sand, and a funnel. This DIY actually takes less than 20 seconds, so just use your funnel to put in whatever decorative beads or sand you chose. If you don't have a funnel, you can still do this. I just did this because it's easier and I didn't want to make a mess. And then just take your fake flowers and add them to your Coca-Cola bottle and you are completely done with your cool new floral arrangement. For the next DIY, you're going to need a quilted mason jar, some glue, green glitter, yellow paint, and you're just going to need some fake leaves. I'm using some that I had from previous DIYs. You're also going to need a foam brush or a paintbrush and a paper plate. Begin by removing the lid from the mason jar and you're just going to be using the outer part of the lid. You're going to take whatever glue you're using and your foam brush and just cover the lid in a layer of the glue. Next, you want to add a generous amount of glitter on top of the glue and you may need to shake the plate around a little bit in order to cover all the parts of the lid and then after that's done, you're going to let it dry and while you're letting it dry, you can move on to the paint. So just add a ton of yellow paint to the bottom and then just swirl the mason jar around and kind of like flip it upside down until you've covered the whole mason jar in an even layer of paint. The last step is to add the leaves. So you just cut the leaves from the stem and then just bend it back and forth and eventually they'll all break off and repeat that process until all of your leaves are done. Then just take the leaves and kind of push them all the way up to the top. And you may need to bend the bottom in order to make them not stand up so high, depending on how tall your jar is. You're just going to repeat that process until you're all done and arrange the leaves however you would like into your jar. For this next DIY, you're going to need a mouse pad, some pom-pom trim, a hot glue gun, and a pair of scissors. Super simple, just measure out the trim alongside your mouse pad so you know how much of the trim you are going to need. And I recommend doing it in sections, so I did it in four different sections for this one. Then you're just going to take your hot glue and begin to glue it down. Make sure you keep your scissors handy because as you'll notice as you begin to glue down the different strips, you may need to trim the little ends here and there. That's all you have to do and hot glue dries pretty quickly. So once you're all done with that, your mouse pad is complete. For the last DIY, you're going to need some daisy appliques, a cup holder, spray paint, a hot glue gun, and something to cover your workspace. Just spray paint your cup holder whatever color you would like. A few coats is really all you're going to need for this. Glue on the little daisy appliques, however you would like, onto your cup holder, and you're all finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to do more videos like this. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. The song featured in this video will be in the description box down below, along with the links to my Twitter and Instagram. So don't forget to follow me on there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!